Well, today we're going to finally get around to building something that I've wanted to build for a long time, and I have a little bit of time, so that's what we're going to do today. Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. I've always wanted to build what's called an album table. Now, some people call them plant stands, uh, some people call them display tables, and basically what they are is a tall table usually about 36 to 40 inches tall and they're not very wide they're not very long not very wide sort of about 10 inches about that wide this table that we're making is going to have long tapered legs and the best way to make those legs to keep them stable is to laminate wood together And the reason for that is it makes the legs far more stable. And if you ever get a chance to look at some old arts and crafts, some original materials, some original furniture from Gustav Stickley, and you look closely at the legs, you'll notice in a lot of cases they're laminated together. It's not because they didn't have the material, it's because laminating wood together was a more stable way of making certain furniture parts. I have glued together uh, two sets of three-quarter inch material and we're going to use these for the legs. So we're ready to take these to the jointer. Now before I take these legs to the tapering jig, I need to square them off. Before I can put the legs in the tapering jig, I need to put a pilot hole in the bottom of each leg. It's taken a few minutes to set my tapering jig up, but now that I have it set up, I can replicate all of the cuts. So this is the top of the leg here. This little piece of wood here is being held down by this clamp, and it's holding the end because the cut is going to start down here, as you'll see in a minute. And of course, this clamp is just holding down the leg at this end. I I'm back at the sliding miter and I found some wood to use for the aprons but I'm going to trim off the ends first and then I'm going to gang cut them so they're all exactly the same length. So I was in my wood room looking for a top for this little table and I found this piece of live edge maple and it's got a nasty split right down here, but I'm pretty sure I can cut that and it'll be just the right size. So I'm going to try that first of all. Well, there's two of the legs. These are two of the front legs and I need to fasten the apron on and I don't want it to sit all the way to the front. So I want to put a bit of a reveal on it. And you could use mortise and tannin here. You could use pocket holes, uh, but it's just a little table. And I'd like to use something a little bit stronger than pocket holes. So I'm going to be using my doweling jig. And to do that reveal, this one that I have came with a, a little bit of a, an adapter, a sizer, that you can make the doweling jig just a little bit wider and that's perfect for putting a little bit of a reveal on there. Now the other one on this leg 
I've already marked the other reveal and it's right there so in that case I'll just turn that around like that and that's where that apron will need to sit And I can feel that I've hit the holes on the other side, which is kind of normal. So when I put these dowels in, I'll need to trim them just a little bit so that they will uh, fit in there nicely at a 45 degree angle when they go in. Now, of course, I also need to do the apron, and there is no reveal on this. So I have to take the spacer out. And this is the face side and the top. And just that easy. So there's my dry fit and that's all looking good. I'm anxious to try this top to see if it's going to fit on there because it's just barely yeah I think that's going to be I think it's going to be just perfect okay let's go with that all right next thing we need to do is some sanding and some finishing I've sanded all the parts down and this part where we have the live edge I used a wire brush on the edge and it really cleaned it up nicely and gave it a, a really nice tone in there. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to make you sit through all of this, is I'm just going to dye this wood and then we'll put on at least one surface coat before we start assembling. Well, the dye I applied is nice and dry now, and because it's a water-based, I need to give it a very, very light sanding with a 320 grit, because it does raise the grain ever so slightly, and usually all you need to do is give it one pass like that, and it just makes it just silky, it is so soft. doesn't take very much sanding at all. Any of you who are following me know I'm a big fan of Osmo uh, and this is the uh, 3054 and I've just put a little bit of it in this jar here and that's all I need to start finishing and basically we go across the grain first of all and you can see how it's bringing the life to that piece of wood already. We go across the grain first of all then we go with the grain and then we'll let that dry and we put it on very 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 lightly. The one I'm really interested in is this top because I wanted to use dye because there is a little bit of figure in here so let's have a look and see what the, the top is going to look like. There you can see some of the figure that's come up on that yet. Well I've done all of the pre-finishing and put four coats of Osmo on there and I love the color. This is the dye, the, the custom dye that I mixed up uh, a few weeks ago and I just love the color of it. It just turned out perfect. There's the top and you can see the, the figure of the wood has uh, remained on there. I love that. So we're just going to do some assembly. I've already put some of the dowels in here. So we're just going to go ahead now and finish doing the rest of the assembly.
I'm just going to fasten the top on now and I like to use these little L brackets because if the wood if there's some wood movement there it'll move in both ways you can see they're kind of slotted in both directions so I'm going to use those I expected these legs would be uh, a little bit off and they are a little bit you can see this one up at the front here how oh, there there's a gap in there so we can fix that there we go that's nice and stable now well and there's our little finished live edge album table and you could use this for a lot of things you could display um, different artworks on here you could put plants on it it's a perfect little table for a sign in for a sign out at different functions it's a nice tall height so you could actually sign things and see things and this particular one's got a live edge top so it's a, it's a very pretty little table as well don't forget if you haven't already subscribed we ask you to do that like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and of course there will be an article and the link for that is going to be in the description box underneath this video. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.